Hi everyone, welcome to Sketching Fine Art. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today uh, I decided to um, update my intro with a, a nice little scene on my journey to work in the tram. So uh, just to make it look a little bit more interesting than it was. Um, and yeah, so uh, it's been about a week now since I've uh, posted a video and I thought I'll work on something uh, every day and then I'll kind of do a quick time lapse and uh, post, try posting at least once or twice a week uh, going forward. So yes, yeah, so today uh, what I'm drawing is uh, a, a nice little house scene, kind of fantasy art house scene, um, all from imagination uh, using Procreate and Apple uh, Pencil on the iPad Pro. Um, and yeah, so this one, uh, I decided to do this in uh, using just a 6B pencil from the pencil uh, selection tool and uh, also maybe a little bit of bamboo um, brush that, that's in the same selection tool and it worked out quite nice and well. Um, it took me probably around about three hours to get this done but I did kind of do it in piecemeal where I did a little bit one day, uh, you know, some, some more the next on an evening, maybe a little bit in the morning. Um, but it kind of worked quite nicely um, and again going on digital it's it's just got so many advantages whereas if I was going to do this on traditional using just standard graphite pencil it would have taken me a lot longer and uh, the setup time would have taken a lot longer but again with digital we've just got this uh, you know this luxury of you know un the undo button <laughs> and uh, effectively you know you've got unlimited palette um, so yeah, so it worked worked out quite nice. I mean, I started off with a basic sketch, and then I just went over with darker lines, uh, and using my standard cross hatching style of drawing, very dark, um, contrasty type uh, work, illustrative work. It's a kind of style that I draw in, and I'll prefer to draw in most of the times. Um, but this actual scene that I drew was is it's going to probably make an appearance in my uh, one of my illustrated. Uh, books, uh, which should hopefully be coming uh, to a you know to, to a start and end within 2018. Uh, I'll probably do a Kickstarter and a launch uh, maybe towards uh, June, July. Hopefully, if I can get all the pages done on it. Uh, but yeah, and I'm going to base this book on entire entirely digital art. Um, you know, uh, in contrast to my traditional art that I'm used to doing and creating books on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, th I think um, what I'm what I'm going to concentrate on talking about today is the you know the move to to a digital from a traditional aspect. I mean, it's in terms of learning curve. I don't think there's that much of a learning curve, especially if you've already been drawing in traditional like I have for so many years. Um, and uh, again, digital isn't new to me because I've been doing digital, I would say, since probably 2011. I've been working in digital 2010 and 11 using a Cintiq and Photoshop and also using Procreate uh, using the um, original iPad Air. And so it's none of this is really new to me. It's just kind of um, uh, advancing really to the Apple Pencil, uh, which has kind of really opened up the whole world of digital for, you know, for myself and my kind of workflow and themes of art that I work in. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I love pencil sketches. I love graphite, pen and ink uh, work, which, you know, you've got this pure black contrast on white paper. I just love that feel and texture of it. And I'm sure you've uh, heard me say this again and again um, in my previous videos but it's there's just this kind of element of it's the therapeutic element about you know drawing uh, in cross hatching in patterns in shapes and shading it just it's just such a relaxing exercise um and when you're drawing from imagination you know you can kind of do whatever you want you don't really have to follow any rules or anything uh, especially if you're working within the abstract surrealism uh, genre um obviously what, what I'm working on here really is an abstract it's just kind of like a illustration of drawing but really it's it's just you know the world's opens here when you're working in digital uh, I mean if I mean, if you have a look at what I'm doing right now um, I'm doing this little round window and it didn't turn out how I really wanted it so the line the kind of wooden bar going across the middle from top to bottom vertical it was a bit too much on the right hand side but I was so easily able to adjust this later on which I do uh, by using the selection tool and just moving it across and then yeah, with the pencil just going over the gaps it was just such an easy thing to do whereas in pencil if I had done this 
this and committed to, um, you know, in real pencil, using traditional material, if I had committed to this, then it would have been a, an absolute nightmare to um, adjust, um, you know, to have to use physical erasers and, you know, damage the tooth or the paper, but it just makes life so much easier on this. Um, so, yeah, so I was quite pleased with the overall effect on it. Um, and yeah, basically I would recommend if, if you've got an Apple, Apple Pencil and iPad Pro, definitely give this a go. And if you haven't already given my 30 day sketch challenge a go, do give that a go if you want to get back into art. I highly recommend it. Um, the 30 sketches that I did was, again, that was the first time I was really using an Apple Pencil because um, I just recently bought this iPad and Apple Pencil back in towards the end of November. And it was kind of really my first attempt at doing any, you know, real drawings on it. And it was great. It was such a great experience having to draw something every day um, and, you know, not having to worry about doing a complete drawing because sometimes we do get into this, well, I used to get into this kind of... Uh, uh, way of thinking that when I start a piece of artwork off I have to finish it and you know if I don't finish it I'm, I'm just going to throw it away but it really does add to the experience if you start something off and just leave it and then move on to something else and then keep doing that and that's what the 30 day challenge is all about just drawing something every single day um, in, in a small amount of time just to get your memory muscles in your hands working and getting you used to the habit of drawing every day and then slowly you can start building scenes in your mind um, but yeah, so overall, um, I would re highly recommend doing the 30 day challenge um, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure you will enjoy it. And if, if you're struggling to find images to draw, just do draw the images that I've, I've drawn, As you know, just pause the videos where I show the uh, image at the beginning. Um, and I will hopefully be launching my website soon. I'm having a bit of trouble with my website uh, at the moment. It's kind of uh, not working out the way I want it. So I will keep you updated on that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so again, so on this drawing here, so I've just kind of filled in uh, the kind of um, the bottom area with like, you know, some illustrations of like shapes and, you know, textures. And then on top, I've just kind of used the side of the pencil to give a bit of a blend gradient. And then at the end, what I do is I just use some cross hatching. I go in really small. You can't really see it on this illustration here because it's just a time lapse recording from Procreate. But what I do is I go in really small on the canvas and then just using quick motions left and right, I just add in these cross hatchings on the background and it worked out quite nicely uh, but yeah so um, again I'd, I'd like to thank all of you for the support that you've given me and the amazing um, uh, comments that you leave um, please continue to do so and please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't please also share this channel with others so that we can all learn from each other and hopefully we can uh, do this new get back into art series challenge together and uh, it'll make it an enjoyable event um, so yeah, so all I'm doing here now is I'm just using some stippling um, uh, effects to kind of, you know, just bring out a little bit of texture on this like little shape that I've done. It's not a tree, it's just like a, a random <laughs> uh, round lollipop type thing. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's the type of things that I like doing because obviously if you start doing realism, you've got to start looking at how things work in real life, perspective, and you know, whether th things are like that in real life, and it just gets too tricky. And to do images like this, you know, drawings like this from imagination, you know, you, you you can just draw them however you want there's no rule telling you that you have to do it like this um but you know if you want to do realism yeah then by all means you know study perspectives study um you know color theory study shadows lights everything uh, if you want to go down that route um i will cover some of those areas in my get back to art series in my book which uh, is coming uh, along very nice. Um, hopefully, I'm trying to get that uh, uh, all done and released, um, you know, by, towards the end of 2018. Uh, but I will keep you updated on that. So, yeah, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video um, as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, also, please check out the links in the description below uh, where, I, where I've got a really big um, list of all the kind of materials that I've been using over the last few years and the ones that I recommend on the traditional side. And there'll also be links in there to my uh, other kind of venues and channels that I have. So soon I'm going to be on Instagram and all the drawings that I do, I'll be putting them on there. So I will slowly update that in the description. So yes, yeah, so thank you so much for your time and help again and your support please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel please keep sketching every day and hopefully i'll see you on the next one so take care of yourself relax and peace